What's going on guys, it's Darren here with TNT and welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and come on our adventures with us. Today we're going to make some changes to our Gladiator, our 2021 Gladiator Mojave and I think you're going to like them. Most of the changes are going to be right here in the back. We're going to replace this CVT tent with a brand new tent. We'll introduce it here in just a minute and the company that we're going to be working with as well as the Batwing Rhino Rack awning. It's going to be gone as well. All this is going on the trail racks bed rack system, which is a pretty awesome bed rack. If you've not seen this bed rack before, it does have features such as the gold wing system. The gold wing system allows you to access the bed from the sides, as well as keep everything secure. I'll lock that other side here in a minute. So with that being said, guys, we are excited to have you on the channel. We're excited for these changes. So this is going to be a full install video of the new tent, the new awning, and then a walk around of that awning and tent. Stay tuned, we'll see you in just a minute. This is day one of getting this new tent on, and we're excited to show it to you. We're excited to see it ourselves. We've not seen this tent in person, this company. Uh, we reached out to them a few weeks ago. It's been in the mail. We're excited to get it. It's Memorial Day weekend, and Morgan might go camping one night this weekend post-surgery. She's doing great, she's recovering well. Um, she's a few months ahead of the game. So I think she's gonna try to get out and just camp. We're hopefully the weather stays clear. It's been raining the past couple days. Might give it till Sunday uh, night to go camping and then come back Monday, Memorial Day. Um, and then the video will be out soon after that. So stay tuned, hope you guys like the upgrades of I guess the rig and everything. And if you do, just let us know in the comments below. Let's get to taking the CVT tent and the Rhino Rack Batwing awning off and the new one installed. So the CVT tent is off, the Rhino Rack Batwing awning is off, and now it's time to show you what's actually going to be going on the new Trail Racks rack. Well, it's not a new rack. We've had this rack for a while. We absolutely love this rack. If you have a Jeep Gladiator, we highly recommend this rack for the gold wing aspect, the sturdiness, and just the all-around quality of the rack. As you see, we have a couple new lights, the Baja Designs on the back. They're wired in the Voss switch switch panel which work awesome and we have a few lights underneath to light up while we're at camp cooking at night so are you guys excited let's see in the box what we actually ordered and we're gonna unbox it for you and actually do a full walk around after we get it installed and a full install video as well all right guys so Morgan and I have decided to go with the hard shell Ironman 4x4 USA Nomad 1300 and the Delta Wing XTR 143 awning with the extension and the wall kit. So we're super stoked to get the wall kit. The Rhino Rack Batwing wall kits were a lot more expensive um, and you needed more of them. This one is a smaller awning, just a little bit. I think it's a six and a half foot uh, base awning instead of the Rhino Rack Batwing awning, which was an eight foot awning. So we do lose a little bit of space but we also gain it with the extension that we will show you in just a little bit. So another big feature with this uh, Delta Wing awning is that it is a freestanding awning. Uh, today it's a little windy, so we might not try it, but um, you don't have to set down the poles to use this awning. Uh, there's a lot of cool features and a lot of uh, awesome things that we got with this setup, and we are stoked to show it to you. So let's get to unboxing. Uh, I don't know which one do we want to do first. Uh, we can either do the awning or the tent first on the install. I think we're going to install the tent first just to make sure we know where it goes and then go to the awning. So let's show you what the Nomad 1300 is, get the awning stuff out of the way, and then we'll come back to it here in just a little bit. Hope you're ex as excited as we are because, man, I can tell you, we're excited to get this hard shell tent on there. Let's get to it.
All right, guys, so I got the tent up on top. Um, it's a little loose right now. I don't have anything strapped down, uh, but I got it up there. Now, with the Iron Man tent, it does come with everything you need uh, to mount. It comes with these awesome brackets that go together. Uh, I actually like these, so you can actually have, it will fit great on the trail rack system. Um, in the actual grooved areas on the plastic, which is nice. And then it comes with all the other hardware as well as some tools to work on it. Now, a lot of you are probably like, how did he get that up there? Now, if you look on uh, YouTube, there are tons of channels. I have uh, two two by fours that have uh, door hinges on them. Um, we hinge it up there uh, with one little bolt and then we slot it up there and it goes right up. Same way to get down, you just slot it on down and then you're good to go. Um, it's an easy way to do it. It does take a little bit of practice uh, if you're good at it. Uh, maybe one day I'll take the tent off, clean everything, retighten all the bolts and show you how we get it off and on. Now, let's get this bolted down. Let's open it up here in the driveway, show it to you, and then we're gonna install the awning. Maybe open it up depending on how this wind is and then go somewhere else and do a full walk around of both the tent and the awning. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and just prep all the hardware before we actually end up doing it. Um, it's just like any other tent, first top tent, if you put one together, it's going to go in there and we're going to do this for all eight of them so that the tent is as secure as it can be. Um, once we do that, we're going to lift the tent, slot them all into place where we want them and then we'll be good to start working with the brackets, getting the brackets in place and tighten it down. We will show you that process. If you want to skip ahead, by all means, if you know how to put a rooftop tent together, we're just showing you the Iron Man. Nomad 1300 itself, how it comes and how to put it together. So I'm a little squished in here, no big deal. We just want to get these decently in place and we're going to set up uh, the actual bracket that's going to hold the tent in place. Now we're not going to tighten these too much, but we're going to get them at least snug-ish to where we can still move the tent around. I do want to check one more time and make sure that um, opening it does not interfere with the awning um, and it's a decent amount off of the back. Uh, of the truck. Um, as you know, we have a gladiator, so that's just gonna make it easier for us to take the hard top on and off, which we still want to be able to use if, you know, the time does come. I'll make sure those are in there. Um, so, we're gonna tighten these by hand. So we're gonna tighten these by hand. You can use an impact, be careful. You can strip these out and it's a pain in the butt uh, whenever you do to get them off. We went through that with the CVT tent and I'll tell you, it was absolutely awful. So we're gonna try to get this as centered as we can. I might use the impact just a little bit. Just wanna make sure these are on straight. Before we do much more. Um, you're not going to see me tighten it with the impact. I'm going to hand tighten it. This is just going to speed up the process of getting them on just a little bit faster. That one down. Alright. And then we'll just grab another one and go back here to the back. And we're going to do the same exact thing. Um, now, if you have a Trail Racks going bed rack, for the Gladiator, just know that we have the extra cross supports um, here and here. Um, those usually do not come with it, so if you're going to mount a tent up top, go ahead and buy those. It's not too much extra, and you'll be good to go.
said, it did come with an instruction sheet. Uh, I glanced over it. Looks like we did everything properly. Um, not missing any pieces or anything. So, what do you say we open this thing up? Uh, I've already undid all three of the latches, which are going to be on the driver's side for me. As you can tell, the small end is towards the back on our tent. Or I guess on the truck, excuse me. Um, because I like a driver's side opening. Um, so the larger end is back here. Could that mess with aerodynamics just a little bit? Maybe. But who knows? Once again, this is the Ironman 4x4 USA Nomad 1300. So, uh, let's get this thing open. Alright. Should just have to push it. And I'm a little short, so I might have to give it a good old heave. And she opens right up. Um, this strap right here is just so whenever you're done, you can pull it down and close it quickly. Don't really need that right now. Um, it was already hanging out, so hinges appear to open it up just fine. Uh, it looks pretty tall, so I'm gonna climb up here, same way I always do. And open this bad boy up. So, I forgot to undo the plastic on the ladder before starting this, no big deal. It shows you that this is literally my first time opening this tent up. And a little instruction sheet for the ladder. Get that here in just a second. Nothing too crazy. Um, so I've heard a few bad things about this ladder. Um, I'll be interested to see it myself, what it actually is. Uh, as you see, we're hitting on the roto packs. You shouldn't have to go far. lift and you want this I think it's about a 40 degree angle um, is what they recommend uh, one cool thing is that these stairs are actually angled so once those are flat you should be at a good angle with the stairs themselves so yeah so, uh, we're going to be about right there so this is the Iron Man Nomad 1300 tent. Um, we're going to go to installing the awning now on the passenger side, passenger side awning. Make sure you order which awning side you would like. Once again, we wanted the driver side open, so we got the passenger awning, but you can easily get the other passenger opening driver side awning from Iron Man. Um, just whenever you order it, specify that. I'm going to close this thing up, and then we're going to get ready to install the awning. All right, guys, so now that the tent is on, it's in place, it's time to mount the Iron Man 4x4 Delta Wing XTR 143. Once again, the 143 has an extension, which will go towards the front just a little bit, and then it also is the 270, which wraps around the back towards the tailgate as well for camping. Let's get this unpacked on the brackets and installed. Once again, this is just the installation period. If you want to skip ahead and look at the review of the Delta Wing XTR 143, Go ahead, skip ahead to that. There might be a tab right below where you can just click and go to it. In the meantime, let's get this installed. So it looks like the awning is going to fit on the brackets that we already had, which I like that because they are a little extended and a little taller for taller friends. I'm short, so I would fit on the Gladiator side, but I like it to just be a little bit taller. If it doesn't, I didn't know that the Iron Man uh, XTR Delta Wing came with its own brackets, hardware, and everything. I was kind of worried because it wasn't in the original box with the awning itself. So if you do that, if you, you know, if you order this, don't freak out like I did, like, oh no, I didn't get the hardware, it's in another box. Uh, we got the walls as well, and the light kit for the awning. So, it was all together in that. The light kit, the hardware, the awning, oh, excuse me, the walls, all for the awning in a separate box. So, uh, let's get this thing put up and opened up and see what it looks like. Alright guys, so if you just buy the Delta Wing XTR 143, it does come with some stakes to mount it in, some guy lines, the mounting hardware. Uh, including all of the nuts and bolts and it looks like some U-bolts uh, to put this on the rack. Um, and then 
it does come with the extension but it doesn't come with the extra poles to make the extension go up and out so if you want that make sure you get the pole option we also got the light kit option which will put three lights uh, on the C channels on the inside we'll show you that here in just a little bit and then we also got the wall kit it's a three-piece wall kit to fully enclose the entire thing um, so we can be out of the elements if we wish um, and you know just enjoy it that way uh, so sometimes we're camping in the rain like last weekend on the Memorial Day weekend and sometimes we're not so we'll probably take the all, uh, wall kit with us it's actually smaller than the CBT annex was which we don't have an annex anymore for the tent so that's pretty nice guys so it's as easy as that you need a 13 millimeter ratchet yes eight bolts uh, four on the awning itself on the brackets and two on each bracket to go in and hold it down um, with this we'll still be able to use the gold wing even whenever the awning is open which I like um, I'll still be able to use our shower and everything else so that's nice as well um, yeah so guys, um, what do you guys think so far? Now, I think I like it. It's you know good material. I think it's a little bit thicker than the Rhino Rack Batwing awning was uh, that we had installed previously. Um, you guys have seen it everywhere. Um, I'm excited to open it up, see the hinges. We had a big issue with the Batwing awning hinges breaking all the time. I think we have in the back seat about six sets, so 12 uh, hinges total, uh, just because it broke so often. I'm excited to see how these hold up. Plus, this is a freestanding awning, so you don't have to put the poles down if you don't need to. Um, now, inclement weather, wind, and rain, uh, they definitely say to do it. So let's just get it opened up so you guys can see it. Then we're going to pack up, and me and Morgan are going to head out into the wilderness and do a full walkthrough of everything uh, that we installed. Uh, the Nomad 1300 tent, as well as the Batwing Delta Wing, or sorry, that Iron Man Delta Wing XTR 143. So the awning is up. Um, I, I really like the quality of it. Um, it seems to be, you know, the seams look good. Uh, the fabric is just as thick, if not a little thicker than, uh, I guess, Batwing awning. I, I'll look up specs and put it down below here in just a minute. But I mean, I like it. Um, everything that I see, it just looks nice. Uh, one cool thing, we did put one pole up and that's just to raise this side up. Um, other than that, we have no poles up um, and it still seems very sturdy. Uh, I'm very impressed with how it is. The hinges still appear to be a thick plastic, which is nice because we can change that if we need to, if something is to break. Um, and as you look here, we have this wire hanging down. I went ahead and installed uh, the lights in the C-channel. So this is the C-channel right here. If we needed to, open the Velcro. We can pull this pole down. Um, but what's cool is it's got a light here, a light here, and a light here. 
These lights have multiple brightness settings through a controller once you hook it up. Uh, it's on a 12 volt system. I actually already tried it. It's on a 12 volt system, comes with its own little switch, power button up and down to control the brightness. And then if you press the power button again, it'll change the white from a bright light to like, uh, or a daylight I guess, to like a halogen light. And then if you press it one more time, it takes it to a light amber. So the amber will be nice to keep the bugs away. Uh, there's already a few critters that are crawling on top of it, which probably smells good to them. But um, this is a pretty awesome feature. Uh, I'm excited to see how the walls go on. Uh, I might put the walls on real quick and just see what it is. I'll probably put the rest of the poles down and then put the walls on. Uh, they're in the bag in the back. But with the lights and all the features that this does come with, I am highly impressed. As I said before, with the gold wing underneath, to open it up, whenever we do have all the walls on and everything, we can still take our shower, we can wash dishes. Think about getting a table for right here, there's plenty of room um, to cook and such on. Um, yeah, so there's gonna be a ton of cool features and a ton of uses that I could see for this awning. Morgan came outside about that time and we decided to pack up and hit the road for Del Rio, Tennessee where we would try out the new Ironman 4x4 Nomad 1300 rooftop tent and Delta Wing XTR 143 awning. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and a like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and come on our adventures with us. We'll see you on the trail. Stay tuned for the next video.